We've had a fantastic day here. First time here with the R8 Evo, first time for Martin, first time for Sandy in Supercar, first time for Martin even coming to Bang Sen, and we've come away with a win. So we'll start with Sandy. He started the race from P3. You talk us through your stint, please. Well, I had a good stint, a good start. I managed to keep third place and then uh, slowly edged away at the top two. I managed to overtake the Ferrari for second and then the Lambo for first. And from there I just tried to make a gap because I knew I had to try to give Martin some seconds to work with because of our silver-silver compensation time in the pits. And uh, hopefully, I, th I think I did enough and uh, the result says yes. So I'm really happy with how today went. The car was working perfectly throughout the whole stint and that's really a testament to how well Be Quick prepared our race cars today. Right. So this is your third weekend with Be Quick and your first win and your first time in the Evo. So we're going to see more wins out of you. I hope so. I mean everything is on the up and the feeling within the team is great so I think we can only improve from here. And moving to Be Quick, this is a good move. You're going to, you look like you're going to be with us for a while now. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I love it here and I want to stay for as long as possible. Great. Well, we want you to stay as well, particularly after today. Right, Martin, over to you. You picked it up at the pit stop, took it to the checkered flag, but you also had to drop back to P3 and pull the positions back again with the pit stop time. So can you talk us through your stint, please? Yeah, I think to begin with, I think I actually fell down more because uh, the, the pit stop time for the compensation for Silver Silver is ages. It's absolutely yeah. ages. You wait in the pits. I could have had, I think next time I, I bring uh, some kind of newspaper to read or, you know, whatever. <laughs> just to, like, <laughs> basically, there was enough yeah. time for anything. And uh, once I got going, then uh, I was kind of on the tail almost after a few laps already on, on the provisional P2. But I think it was also the early pit stop and, and uh, the quick pace of the new tyres that we ran straight from the beginning out of the pits that helped us to, to then actually climb to that P3 um, once the pit window had closed. And that was really key as well as that put us straight into the run for P1 or P2. And uh, yeah, it was, it was basically just straight out of the pits and push, push, push as hard as I could. Sandy did a really good job of, um, of actually pulling a gap uh, after after a tough start and and um, he did two really good overtakes which gave us the chance to actually then go for the win after after um, I, I chased down the Ferrari and then I chased down the, the Lambo as well. Two lunges which were definitely a risk but uh, I was managing it and, and trying to to go for a safe move uh, but definitely it was going to be a tough one in Bank Sen as everybody says it's not possible to overtake here so I mean Really good job for Be Quick. Mm. Uh, really good job for Audi. The car was 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 mega. To this lad next to me, uh, him running the car, everything was perfect today, and it just went our way. Right. So you've had a few days on the track now at Bang Sen. Um, just give us your feelings on it. Do you like it? Dislike it? Are you enjoying it? What's it like to drive? Well, I mean, every time I drive it, it's bonkers. Yeah. It's absolutely crazy. I still cannot uh, get used to the bumpiness. Um, I drive through it still, but after the race today, I spoke to Sandy as well, and both of us, we had like pain in our hands, you know, just from gripping the steering wheel. It's mm. probably twice the strength, or maybe three times the strength that we normally use to grip mm. the, w the steering wheel, which is crazy. Mm. And for a long stint like that, or for the whole race stint, I mean, it makes a difference, definitely. And also mentally, just to be there 200% all the time, not to make any kind of mistake. Even like when you feel like you're on the line, mm. and then you go over a bump and the car just mm. tank slaps one way, the other way, it's always so unpredictable and you just have to be on top of it like all the time you cannot let it go for one moment so it's a uh, it's a special track indeed and I very enjoy the ballsiness of it thank you to art Martin and Sandy got the job done on the track you got the job done on the pit wall can you just talk us through what you had to do in the race and how you had to prepare for the pit stop change over manage traffic that sort of thing please 
Well, knowing that uh, we have a silver silver pairing and the extra compensation time that we get is about 50 seconds uh, compared to the AMM pairings like Hank and, uh, and Daniel, we need to stretch everything to the limit from you know the driving time, the opportunities, the chances, and of course the uh, the high probability of safety cars coming into in, into play. With all that in mind, of course, we try and. Uh, with, with, what's available, with what the regulation set out, you know, we always try and, and, and get the best out, out of the first stint so we can get a, a bit of a gap. Then mm. obviously we lose us a bit of damage control for the second stint, so we bring uh, new tires then for the sec for the for Martin's mm. uh, run, and, and hopefully just cross our fingers. And we know that's very hard uh, to go for a win here uh, with the silver silver pairing, mm. especially on a city track where there's, I guess, as I said before, the high probability of having safety cars that would kill all that margin that we built over the first stint or second stint. And this can happen to, to both races. So we planned that accordingly. Everything went very well from uh, calling uh, Sandy in to come into the box. He came in straight away, uh, parked, parked in the box, smooth driver changed, even though we have a lot of time. It's one of those things. Sometimes too much time, you overthink yeah. and you can mess up somewhere. Yeah. Uh, but everything was good, uh, left on the spot. We had a bit of a... Um, uh, we were not very lucky on the way out because we were behind some cars who were slowing down because they were released a bit too early, so we lost about 10 seconds there. But in the end, um, everything went towards, uh, towards us, really. Martin went really quick through traffic, you know, made some impressive uh, overtakes. Uh, you know, very, very always very very close to the to to the walls, both Sandy uh, and Martin. But hey, if you want to win in Bang San, you gotta you that, that's how we gotta do it. Uh, of course, it's very very good to be first time here on the R8 Evo. Uh, first time that the team runs a car on a on a city track. It's very very different from what we're used to. We try to bring or bring as much knowledge as possible from running the the, the ultra here from from last year but obviously there are two different cars there's a lot more you can do with uh, the, the r8 evo and yeah it's a it's amazing be able to to win here first time on the r8 first time for martin driving first time for sandy on the gt3 uh, and now our thoughts are ready for tomorrow tomorrow's race we have uh, due to a success of uh, race one we have 12 extra seconds which is going to make our life even more difficult but you know that's what we're here for for the challenge so tomorrow we start on pole position so what will be the difference in the strategy today so with the unfortunate uh, Quali, Quali one for, for Sandy, the rain, etc. Uh, we only managed P3, and if our plan is to have a, as big of a gap possible before the pit stops, we need to be in first place, especially in the city track where you can it's very very hard to overtake. I think it took about five to uh, five to six laps for for Sandy to overtake uh, the P2 and P1, and in that process we lost something. I would say in the margin of almost 10 seconds. You know, uh, so tomorrow it will be very important to start on P1. Uh, and just push, 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 start to finish. Yeah. Send uh, Martin coming in, handing into Sandy now. Sandy will probably have the the job to mm. keep pushing very hard and overtaking. Mm. It's always the, it's always the most difficult part here in Bangsan is the traffic management and always comes in the in the second stint. So today's Martin did the the most difficult part. Tomorrow will be Sandy, and I'm 100% sure he'll be up for it. Right. Okay, thank you. Martin, one race here, one win. You're going to be going for the win tomorrow. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? Of course yeah. we are. <laughs> yeah. It's all down to Sandy though. Uh, I will make my best to, to try and build a healthy gap to, to come in, but, but then um, I think even from my stint it will be about traffic management as well. So just trying to be smart, smart when you have the pack markers try to just maximize the time that we can gain on the others and then hope for the best and he needs to do some ballsy moves and uh, and we'll be we'll be right up there i think right thank you sandy your engineer said you had an easy ride today your teammate says you did the easy ride today and you've got to do some ballsy moves tomorrow is this going to be you up for that yeah yeah absolutely i mean i always like a challenge and this track is although very bumpy it's great fun to drive and 
I like looking for those overtakes that people aren't expecting. So, you know, look out for some something new tomorrow. I'll try my best. Try my best to bring the number two B Quick Audi R8 Evo as high as possible. And I'm always doing my best for all the Thai fans. Right, thank you. Congratulations on the win today and good luck tomorrow. Thank you.